I started at Facebook almost exactly a year ago. Um, so every day has been uh, a very interesting and exciting day. And it's been a big year for Facebook with regard to our relationship with the, the news industry. Um, in the last year, we launched the Facebook uh, Journalism Project, the News Integrity Initiative. Um, we've become much more open and collaborative with the industry as a whole. Um, and so that's been great. So a lot of things have changed. Um, and the company's changing for the better as our relationship with the industry gets more, um, I would say, much more uh, ingrained with one another. We have a very deep relationship with the media industry, I think news industry in particular, uh, we've been working very closely with for a number of years. I think it's, it's evolved a lot um, to the point where now we do much more collaborative um, product development, which is something that we hadn't done before. As a company, we're more transparent. I think we realize how important um, news is uh, to people within their Facebook news feed. And we want to make sure that um, the partners we work with are well represented and we have, they have the right commercial opportunities as well. Uh, so it's become in some ways more complex and somewhat tougher in some ways, but also better because we now have a really good robust dialogue. It's interesting because fake news, disinformation, hoaxes, uh, propaganda, however you want to describe it, and there's so many different ways you can describe fake news. It's been around for a long time. In fact, in New York City, some of the most famous uh, fake news stories, the great hoax of the moon hoax of 1835 in the New York Sun. Um, there was a big story in the New York Herald about escaped animals from the zoo, which was complete fabrication um, in order to sell papers. You know, they had these stories. So that's not new. I think what's new is how quickly stories can spread on social media, um, how, how accessible uh, these sorts of stories can become if you don't put checks in place to, to inform people about uh, what might be true and what, what might be questionable. So. Um, we, have, we have become much more aware of this as an issue, uh, particularly with, with Brexit and the, and the election in the US. And we put a lot of things in place technologically, third party fact checking uh, partnerships, um, but also just educating the public more on what they should be aware of. So I think social media and technology has, has transformed how we engage with fake news, but fake news in itself or people's desire to, 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 to deceive, I think mostly for financial gain, is persistent. A few things. Uh, we launched a, a public service announcement in 14 different countries around the world where we help people uh, understand uh, how they can spot false news, um, what they should be aware of. And with the News Integrity Initiative that we're working on, we're investing $14 million into a, a consortium that's going to bring together technology companies, um, education organizations, nonprofits to work on. Um, uh, helping news credibility and news integrity as a whole, uh, which means working in schools and developing different projects to help the industry, I think, realize that the credibility of news in itself is, is, is at a very challenging point and we need to do more to address it uh, as, as, as a whole together.